Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear friends. Welcome to today's live energy update and meditation and prayer circle. Zane Baker here in the house, energy worker and transformational coach. And I am here for you guys, especially during these trying times, to bring you messages of positivity, messages of enlightenment, messages of upliftment. To remind you of the important things in life, which is being together during these hard times, remembering to choose love over fear, to choose precaution over panic, and to choose spirit over being bombarded by the negative and heavy vibration that's coming out from the news, from people around us, from the fear that's being pumped into our society because of this happening and because of this pandemic so welcome 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 everybody so pleased to be here with you today uh, wow we have 65 people already joining in welcome let me know which part of the world are you joining me from uh, the past few days we have done the live meditations and we have reached people across the globe we have people from uh, asia people from south america north america europe uh, uh, Australia, we had people from everywhere. We had people from Ice Iceland. Uh, we had people from Norway. So we had people from every part of the world. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Adam. Hey, guys. <coughs> Please help me in sharing this message and spreading it out to the world so we can uh, grow together and learn and be in a state of consciousness together. So guys, today, uh, today's message is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to lead a moment of silence meditation. Uh, and uh, this is what the guidance I got today. I got the guidance that people have meditated with me over the past four days. Sorry guys. Allergies are really, really strong in my part of the world. And uh, I'm having like a scratch throat from allergies. But uh, I'm doing my tapping. I'm doing my tapping to release any energy stuckness in the body. So welcome guys, welcome. So today we're gonna do a moment of silence meditation. It's a simple practice that I do all the time whenever I feel drained or out of energy. Uh, but before we, before I guide you through the moment of silence meditation, uh, I'm gonna share with you two messages that came from Spirit today. It's an energy update about the state of beingness that we are in. Uh, and uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Hi Deb, hi uh, Raquel, hi Joanne, hi Carol, welcome guys. So the first message uh, that came through today and it was very, very powerful is the it's gonna get worse before it's gonna get better. And I know some of you might think like, Zane, oh my gosh, this is supposed to be an energy update. It's supposed to lift our spirit and now this sounds fear-based. Not really. Because I meditated on it when this message came through, I was like, okay, how can I share this message as a message of empowerment? And uh, the Divine's uh, way of saying it was, sometimes you got to acknowledge the reality in, in order for you to break through it. And the reality of the state of being that we're in, it's going to get worse before it's going to get better. And if you accept it and surrender to the flow of things, then you are not living constantly in a state of fear. Guys, right now people are glued into the TV and guess what? The TV is gonna report on what's happening right here, right now and what's gonna happen tomorrow and they're gonna project the worst. But if you already know that the worst is yet to come and this too shall pass, then why are you spending every awakening moment on that? What I invite you to do instead is know that it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Have uh, implement the practice I shared with you guys a few days ago, which is the uh, news touch point, and that's where you actually dedicate specific times a day. It could be 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and then 10 p.m. before you go to bed. You just check and scan what has happened, what are the state of affairs, and please do your due diligence on the networks and the news channels that you follow. And that way, instead of your energy constantly being drained every single moment by the reporting on the news, you only see an update of what's happening once or twice a day. I honestly don't do that first thing in the morning because guess what? That's a cherished time. That's a time I get to spend cultivating my spirit, connecting with God, connecting with spirit. 
remembering who I am as a spiritual being instead of remembering myself as a human living in this time and space in this situation. So I don't spend the first part of my day uh, looking into the news. I meditate, I pray, I journal, I write articles, I record videos, I do the energy work that lifts my spirit. And then at 11 a.m. I come to you guys here and we do this training. And uh, for those of you who are new to this training, welcome guys. I appreciate you. My name is Zane and I'm an energy worker, an intuitive, an empath. And uh, I was guided, especially during this pandemic, to become a voice of reason, a voice of inspiration, a voice of upliftment. And your support means the world to me. So thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for having faith in me. I appreciate you guys. If this message and the messages that are coming forth in the near future are resonating with you, I invite you to go to my website, zanebaker.com, Z-A-N-E-B-A-K-E-R.com, and download my free Grateful Morning Meditation. It's the meditation that I start my day with every day. I want you guys to have that meditation so you guys can actually start reaping the benefit of calming your nervous system, being present, being in the moment, and not letting the news, the media, the fear mongering really take over your energy space. So the first message that came from Spirit was surrender to the reality that it's gonna get worse before it's gonna get better. And when you surrender to that reality and you let go of the fear and you let go of the unknown and just trust that there is a divine spirit that is guiding all of us through this time and that what's meant to happen for you will happen to you regardless of how you react to it. And guys, take it from a guy who has survived so much. I know many of you guys ha don't know my entire story and I share it here and there. Maybe I need to create a video to give you guys a little background about me as Zane Baker, who I am and what I have went through and what have gave me the energy and also the space to share this with you guys. So I'm gonna share a little bit with you guys here since we have over 100 people watching. I was born and raised in Iraq, in Baghdad, Iraq in the middle of the 80s at the peak of the Iraqi-Iranian war. So I was born in a war-torn country. I lived my entire life under a dictatorship regime. I saw people getting killed. I saw people getting kidnapped. I saw people being thrown in jail because they were the wrong religion, the wrong color, the wrong gender, the wrong sex. And um, I saw so much. And that pain has really wreaked havoc on me. But now that I have grown and I saw all of that, I take that experience as it was God's way of reminding me that if I can navigate through all of that pain, then I can be a beam of light to others who might be experiencing something similar. And not gonna lie guys, I've been creating content and sharing messages for over seven years with you guys, but I have not took it seriously until this pandemic hit. Uh, when this pandemic hit, a lot of my old wounds that I healed with forgiveness, with meditation, with prayer, I healed them. They resurfaced not with me, but they resurfaced within the people around me. I started to see people living in fear. I started to see people unsure about what's gonna happen. Uh, and the latest time that I went, like, went and witnessed something similar to this, it was in 2003 when the coalition forces uh, invaded uh, my country of Iraq. I was a teenager then, and I saw the horror of war as an adult. I've seen the horror of war in the past as a child. And you know, as a child, you kind of internalize and delete and distort and so you forget. But as an adult, like the, the feelings are visceral and you feel them. So when I experienced that as an adult, I, I was there for my friends. I was there for my family. I reminded them that if we are alive today, then it's a gift. If we uh, uh, still breathing and it's a gift and Everyone wanted to hang out around Zane during the war because I always had a smile on my face. I always brought messages of, of upliftment when there was like a raid or a bombing. And instead of like just sheltering and being in a state of fear, I tell stories. I bring all the kids around and we'll play games. 
I tried my best to take people's mind off of the situation. So when this pandemic hit and I started to see what's happening with my family and friends here in the US and also my global family across the globe, spirit gave me like a mental slap and they were like, Zane, when are you gonna take your gift seriously? When are you gonna start sharing your voice openly with the world? And that's when this daily meditation and prayer circle and energy update was born. It was born out of this pandemic. So talk about taking fear and turning it into freedom. And my intention, guys, is to take you from a state of fear to freedom. And many of you guys have already messaged me personally saying, gosh, Zane, thank you so much for this service. Thank you for doing all this for us. Thank you for being the voice that shares upliftment while everybody else is sharing fear. So guys, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. If this pandemic has did one thing, it reminded us that we're all human. We all breathe the same air. We all bleed the same blood. We all die the same way. Doesn't matter if we were rich, poor, white, black, gay, straight, thin, thin fat, you name it. All of the labels are out of the window. So let's look at this pandemic as something that is bringing humanity together and reminding us that even with all the borders and all the limitations and all the rules and regulations, one little virus put the entire world on hold. If that doesn't remind us of our true spirit, that we're all human, I don't know what is. So that's the first message, guys. And I, I wanted to share a little bit about me so you guys know that I'm not just speaking out of my butt. I went through pain. I went through suffering. And I used that pain and suffering as a fuel to help others. And now I felt called upon to do the same on a global level. And that's why I need your help, guys. I need you to share these messages. I need you to spread uh, these videos out to the world. I need you to tag your friends, tell them about what we're doing, because you're part of this too. There's 110 people watching right now. You are part of this. Your vibration is at the same exact vibration as me because you happen to be watching this video right here, right now. So I really need your help, guys, in spreading these messages so we can remind our brothers and sisters in humanity that this is happening for purpose, that there is a reason behind this, and that if we could use this to channel our energy towards healing instead of fear-mongering, then we'll triumph as a human species, and we'll heal humanity together. So that was the first message. Um, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Just like when you have a surgery, you will go through the pain of healing before it gets better. Right now, we're going through a, a surgery on a global mass. Everybody in the world is experiencing this. And what we get to do is expect that things might get a little bit more tense before they get better. And to surrender to that, instead of being in a state of anticipation, oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? No, just let it go. Just know that God, Spirit, the universe... Allah, Muhammad, Jesus, whatever you believe in, will guide you through this and you remain center and remain present. So that was the first message. The second message was all about self-care. Uh, we have more time on our hands right now than ever. Many of us, wow, I hear a plane. I haven't heard a plane fly over my house in almost two weeks. <laughs> so maybe that's a good sign that things are, are on the mend. Uh, but back to the second message. And the second message was self-care. Right now, many of us are stuck at home. Many of us are, we do have more time on our hand than usual. We're either working from home or we don't have work right now. So let's take time for self-care. So many of the people that in the past I told them to meditate for five minutes in the morning and they used to be like, oh my gosh, Zane, I, I, I am so busy, I can't. Like I get up at five, immediately put food for the kids and get it ready and then at 6.30 I take them to the bus or take them to the school and then I immediately go back to work from there. This life that we were stuck in for so long is no longer the same and now this is 
the universe's way of helping you to build a foundation that you didn't have before. So cultivate some self-care practices. Get up in the morning and maybe spend five, 10 minutes meditating. Get up in the morning and instead of rushing and immediately turning on the news and plugging into the past, because guess what guys? When you get up in the morning and you immediately turn on the news, you plugged into the past. You didn't plug into the future. Because the news are reporting what you have already experienced yesterday and they are giving you an update of what's happened since yesterday. So every time you plug in back to everything that you know, you plug into the past. Why are you doing this to yourself? So practice self-care first thing in the morning. Meditate, pray, uh, go on a walk uh, and involve your family with that. Involve your kids, involve your children, involve your pets. Cultivate self-care. Those are the two messages that came uh, through self-care and uh, surrender. Self-care and surrender. So, all right, guys, these are the two energy updates for today. I hope they serve you well. And it is Friday, which means the weekend is near. So use this time to actually put into work what I shared with you guys. Put into work what I shared with you guys. Now, guys, I'm going to lead you on what I call a moment of silence meditation. Uh, and it's just simply you sitting or standing uh, or be careful guys if you're operating machinery and any machinery it could be even your mower on your backyard you're listening to me on your earbuds but you're on a mower please don't do this practice when you're doing something like cooking or practicing machinery or anything that requires some attention so whatever you're doing just stop it for a second and uh, unless you're watching this video then continue but sit still or sit in a lotus position or stand in, in position or lie down. It's up to you. It's going to be less than a minute or two to just simply bring your awareness back to the present moment. So with me, just close your eyes and sit still and breathe. Mm. Just simply breathe. And right now I'm sitting outside, so you're going to sound, hear the sound of nature, the birds, the animals. And just sit as still for a minute or two and just breathe. Mm. Any thoughts, any ideas that might come into your mind, imagine them as clouds and the wind is blowing the clouds away. No judgment, no need to control anything and just breathe and let go. And bring your awareness to the divine present moment and to continue to breathe. And let the sound of nature cleanse you from the inside out. And continue to breathe. A smile on your face
And with every breath, let go and let God. And if you feel tingling sensation in your hand, in your feet, in your heart, that's totally normal. You're bringing the divine presence into your body. And the vibrations of presence is higher than the vibration of the body. So continue to breathe and bring the presence in. And raise your vibration to the vibration of presence. Mm. It's a beautiful, isn't it? And whenever fear or doubt come into your presence, just do exactly this. Sit still and take deep breaths. And remember that you are connected to the quantum field, that you're connected to God, connected to spirit, connected to the universe. Don't let the labels control you. Connect to whatever you feel gives you peace and comfort. And just be present. Mm. And whenever you feel comfortable and present, bring your awareness back to your body, back to your heart, back to your hands. Rub your hands together to bring your awareness back to the body. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and bring yourself to the divine present moment. Ah, breathe in. Ah, and breathe out. Breathe in. Ah, and breathe out. Oh my goodness, one of my dearest friends, my soul sister, a mentor and spirit that vibrates higher even when she's going through tumultuous times. Barbara Clark is with us in the house, guys. Hello, Barbara. Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased to have you here. Guys, Barbara is a divine being. Her vibration is so high. It's, it's, it's a gift. What are the odds that the day we're doing this, she's here with us. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, love. I'm so honored to have you here with us. So guys, let's let's type in the comments, love and blessings, prayer and blessings, divine inspiration and blessings to all. Angelic love, crystal love, divine love to all. Let's raise the vibration by influencing this meditation with our comments. Let's put in the comments what we want to bring into our reality. Love, prayer, healing, togetherness, uh, uh, spreading of healing energy, abundance, growth, transformation, um, whatever you feel guided to put in the comments, put it forth. Because that's the energy of spirit speaking through you. So let's end the meditation and end this vibrational session with love and healing and transformation to all. Thank you guys for gracing me with your presence by taking the time for yourself to be with me here right now uh, for the past 10-15 minutes that we spent together. Thank you for your help in supporting me and sharing this with your friends, with your family members, with the groups that you belong to. The more people we bring into this upliftment, the merrier. And the more we remind our brothers and sisters in humanity that we can choose uh, freedom over fear, love over panic, and togetherness over loneliness and separation, the more we bring the collective consciousness and the cohesiveness of the world as we know it together. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me on this session. I appreciate you all the divine in me appreciate the divine in you
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Namaste.